however you like to pronounce it. Um, and I run Radio Sega, and I also have a very, very blurry webcam for that. I apologize. That's probably going to do that a lot um, during this video, and I can't really help that. Sorry. Um, apparently, I am live streaming to YouTube already. I'd like to think I am. I can't actually find the video on my channel as yet, um, but hopefully it'll show up soon. If not, then it's going to, well, this isn't going to be very interesting, is it? Um, if you bear with me a moment, I am just going to need to try and look at it and make sure that everything's going on with what this video is actually doing. Um, I'm already in a video call. Yes, thanks for that, Google. Thanks. I um, was not aware of that at all. Right, hang on. This is going to be well boring if you're watching this back. I do apologize. Uh, do you know, I can't remember how you found it the first time. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, I can't find it. Right, okay. Uh, if anyone can find what I'm looking for. That would be greatly appreciated. But anyway, let's... Um, see, the thing is, obviously, it'd be nice if I was on YouTube. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I can actually watch myself, watching myself, watching myself, watching myself. Oh, hello. Hello. Wow, you can actually hear an echo as well. Fantastic. Um, right, I think I found it. I think I found the link. I think I found the link. I think I found the link. <gasps> Yay! Yay! Right, we'll close that. I don't. I don't want to hear myself hearing myself hearing myself hearing myself hearing myself etc 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 however what i do want is i want to see the comments right okay so we've got i've got that page open i can i can now see my live comments so if you want to send a comment on youtube i can see it anyway i'm i'm also not you know i have hair i'm not i'm not anyway as you can probably gather by the title um, ah, funny joke of the video. In fact, I'm just going to. No, I'm I'm, I'm alright. I'll leave it. Um, Borderlands 2 came out today in the UK, and with it came a super sexy special edition, which is here. This is it, and um, I did say on Twitter that I was going to do a live unboxing, and it was going to be an unboxing to the point where. It's not even open. So just to prove it's not even open, that is the seller tape along there. It is not open. Clearly. So yeah. We're gonna open it. We're gonna see what's inside it and other bits and bobs. At which point I'm probably gonna end up sitting on the bed so you can actually see me a bit better. You'll still be able to hear me quite clearly. I've got I've got quite a bit of give on the cable, he says. Um, so you'll be able to, to come over with me and we'll have a look at the box and anything that I want you to look at in particular attention. Um, we will show the camera closer. Right, okay, let's get on with it. So if I move the chair out the way so it's not in the way of the video, shouldn't be in the way anyway, have I got enough reach on the cable? Yes, I do. Fantastic. And I'm sat in the wrong side. Okay. 
Hi. Let's get this box unboxed. Unboxing a box, unboxing a box, and this is going to take forever. Nope, it's not. That's fine. I don't actually know if you can hear that ripping. Listen to it rip. Listen. Fantastic. Oh, wow. They actually put the box in the wrong way around. Fantastic. And nowhere on this box does it say this way up. There you go. Never mind. Right. Lock. So, let's have that out. And then, we'll have that box out the way. <laughs> I don't think anyone's ever going to show you that. And also, the, the webcam is flipped. I do apologise. It says, wrong side, minion. <laughs> hmm. If, if anyone... That's brilliant. That is actually really, really clever. Um, I like that. I love Claptrap. He's my favourite Borderlands character. Um, probably might help if we give you a little bit of backstory about what Borderlands actually is for the undoubtedly two people who don't actually know um, what it is. Borderlands came out in 2000 and whenever. Um, 2009 sounds right, but I think it might actually be 2010. It's by Gearbox Software, and it is quite frankly the greatest video ever made. So you don't need to um, you don't need to uh, greatest video greatest video game ever made. So you don't really need to worry about that. Um, it's just basically a first person shooter with RPG elements. It's based on Diablo. It's 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 amazing, and not many people thought it would do that well. So they um, they didn't really do anything special for it. I mean, there was a load of DLC. Um, but, you know, other than that, there wasn't really an awful lot. Uh, you know, they didn't expect it to do well, and naturally, with all games that you don't expect to do well, it sold shed loads. So, you know, they did the DLC for it. You had Zombie Island of Dr. Ned. You had uh, Mad Moxie's Underdome. Um, the Crimson Armory one, which I can never uh, remember the name of. General Nox's Armory, I think. Secret Armory. The Secret Armory of General... I, I don't know. Secret Armory is in General Knox. They were involved. And also, uh, Claptrap's Robot Revolution, which is Claptrap! Yes! Um, so yeah, it sold really, really well. And naturally, when the sequel came out, everyone was really excited. Um, as you'd expect. So... This is it. Uh, when when they announced that it was uh, when they announced the release date and everything, um, they also announced a Uber special collector's edition alongside other things. I don't know if you actually saw that. I had a bit of salad tape and it, it bounced and landed in the box. If you did see that, that was amazing, and I'd expect comments to say. So I've actually also realised that this one viewer that I've got at the moment is me. So hi me greatest unboxing video ever. Right, this box da, 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 in full facing the wrong way glory. He says, actually, it might actually be facing the right way. It might just be me that can see it the wrong way. And it is. It is just me that I can that can see it the wrong way. Hang on. I'm getting an MSN message. Oh! Oh, I actually, I have a viewer that isn't me. It's Erhart. Hello, Erhart. This is Borderlands 2. Can you tell? Look, it says it on the box. It's also rated 18, which is good. Ultimate Loot Chest, limited edition. There you are. Limited edition. Um, it also, the, the other sides of the box um, tells you what's in it. We won't show you that bit, because if you haven't seen what's in it, that will spoil the surprise. Um, and yes... Contains certain items in the English language only. Not intended for children under 14. Not a toy. Interesting. Not a toy. Um, rated 18. Contains strong bloody violence. Um, yeah, I think you can kind of tell that when the tagline is get ready to joy puke your face off. I, it's a bit disappointing that they've got a website here, www.borderlands2.com, when to pre-order the damn thing, it was wubwub.eu. You know, obviously a joke and all the 
dubsteps that they were using. Right, let's have this out then. Okay, wrong side, minion. We're going to leave that there so that you can see Claptrap for the remainder of this video when I haven't got things in the way. So what have we got here then? We have got well we had something that was connected by vault stickers look the, you can see a vault sticker there um, and the other side has come apart and you've got on the top the 2k games and gearbox software logos this is probably 2k games biggest um, <laughs> uh, this is probably 2k's biggest release of the year Probably. Don't. I need a bit more slack on the cable, please. Thank you. Right. Okay. Let's get this open. Under here, we have got. Let's get that sticker off. I did know there was someone who. Oh, hello. Something's falling out. Everything's falling out. <gasps> Don't want that. Uh, did have someone who wanted to watch this, and unfortunately, he's not able to. Um. Hopefully, you'll join us in in time. Where am I? There are things everywhere in this box. Right. So the box, as I'm sure you've probably realised, has come in two parts. There's a bottom bit and there's a top bit, which I'm guessing has got the loot chest in. Um, so that this this bit has got like two sections in. We have got for your perusal in this bottom bit when I can get it all out because this box has kind of fallen away ever so slightly. There is nothing else in that box. That is fine. Right, so we have got a copy of Borderlands 2 with a with a um, bandit shooting his face off twice because it's two. So um, Includes the Premier Club additional content. Good to know. And the back of the box is just the same as the back of the big box, only it's smaller. And still says Borderlands2.com and doesn't say anything about Wub Wub. Sigh. That's that. Um, inside the art, the art and design of Borderlands 2, you can see there, it's an art book, but it's also quite a thick art book. I mean, check that out. That is thick. Um, oh! <laughs> and the first page we open it to, Claptrap. We like Claptrap. Love him long time. Um, yeah, it's just got designs of environments and, and people who worked on it. April Gearbox Software, circa 2012. There's that many people. You all make amazing games. Don't ever stop. If you see yourself in there, um, cheer madly. But I very much doubt it. You can't actually see Randy Pitchford, the, um, the studio head of, of Borderlands 2 and he stands in the middle of the photo which is exactly where the sea, where the crease is so his face is therefore obscured by the entire book but don't worry we know you're in there um, what else do you get? you get a steelbook case which has nothing in it so I would imagine that this is if you wanted to use that instead of that or you could just use it to put a spare disc in you could use it like a carry case, I don't know Um, sorry, I just keeping check on YouTube comments. Um, what else do you get? You get downloadable add on content contraband skyrocket grenade, character skins and heads, contraband skyrocket. Oh, right, yeah, contraband skyrocket grenade and character skins and heads. That's all it is. It is. I'm obviously not going to show you the back because that's where the code is, but that's what it is. <gasps> How exciting! How exciting. Um, what else have we got? The Field Journal of Sir Hammerlock. There you are. I have no idea what this is. It's a... It's a. Oh! Okay. You can't really see a lot of this, I don't think, because of the way it's bound, but it, it has writing in and, and pictures, and I think it would be quite a struggle to try and use that for anything useful. It's quite, quite small, you know, pocket-sized. Pocket sized field journal. Bing! Um, what else have we got? We have got what everybody wants in their collection some stickers. 
that include the 2K logo, the Gearbox logo, Minion on board, and the Vault logo. Shame, really. Claptrap logo, tra clap trap one would have been actually amazing. Not fake amazing, real amazing. But there you go. Stickers. Integral part of every um, collector's edition that isn't an art book. Art books are, of course, if you get a collector's edition that doesn't have an art book in, it's not a proper collector's edition. Um, there is also a certificate of authenticity. Each Borderlands 2 Ultimate Loot Chest Limited Edition is handcrafted by a Pandoran Master Bandit artist with the highest quality professional instruments. This is number 44,646. See, look, you can, you can see it. You, you can't see it. It won't, it won't ever focus, but the number is there. Ish. And it has a um, Marcus. Marcus seal of approval. Fantastic. Um, Duke Nukem Forever got one of these, actually. This is a certificate of authenticity to tell you that this game is finally out. Yes, you do own it. <laughs> yes, you did spend a lot of money on it. <laughs> yes, it's not very good. <laughs> Uh, I quite enjoyed them, um, have to be honest. Did quite enjoy. Um, there's also some things. Um, posters. I, I, I can't quite get them out. But there you go. There's there's some... There's, there's like four of them, or six, or... No, I can't count. There's clearly four of them. Um, they're just art cards. Really? Art cards. Oops. Uh, then you get, and I remember reading about this, this is pretty cool, this is not going to fit in one shot, um, this is the a, 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 an art of the characters of Pandora, as it were. So it starts off quite nicely with your, your regular humans, and then they just get progressively bigger. Progressively bigger joy to the world. I mean, if I was to actually show you that full size, it's going to have to go over the... Uh, that would help. It looks a bit like that. It's that long. There you are. It would actually look nice on a wall somewhere if you had enough wall to put it on. Is there any clap traps on them? Clap traps are always important. And... Nope, we can't see a claptrap. That is disappoint. All the disappoint that there is no claptrap in that picture. I now have three people. Hello, people. This is the first time I've ever tried a live unboxing video. I don't think I've ever seen someone do it via Google Hangouts. Mainly because trying to do something by trying to do anything via Google Hangouts is in itself a bit of a bad idea. Uh, what do we have here? This is a map made out of cloth. Would you believe it? You know, with all of this, I don't actually know what's inside the loot chest, because, you know, we still have the big box to go. This is a map of Pandora. I don't know if it's going to come out on... Oh, it's quite nice quality, actually. Very nice. There you are. How's that? There's a cloth map of Pandora. Northwest, northwest coast. So there you go. It's not the same place as the as the original. Which is a shame, because I quite like some of the places in the original, but there you go. That's just me. Others probably hated it. And if you did, I don't care for your opinion. Um... Ha! Just got a comment. It looks like you could use it as a tea towel. You wouldn't want to use this as a tea towel. It's, uh, well, if I can actually show you, you probably see the fibres um, a little bit. Maybe. It's a white reflection. And you know what? One of the worst things that I, I'm ever a capable of doing, I'm absolutely useless at this. This is not going to get folded the same way it got open. Oh, actually, no, it might. It might get folded the same way it got open. Oh, it will. It so will. There you go. Check that out. That is the first time I've ever managed to do that. And that's probably never going to get opened again because it will be the last time I've ever managed to do that. We shall put it back in its little protective sleeve. Boop. One cloth map. Right. So that's what came in the bottom bit, which means that we still have this bit to go. This is the... I'm guessing it's a loot chest. <laughs> Seeing as we've got to the ultimate loot chest edition of Borderlands 2, and we don't actually have the loot chest bit yet. 
Uh, you'll also notice I've got horrible nails. I, I can't open anything for love nor money. And so you're in a little um, jingly ditty thing here, you know. <laughs> Yay, we got it open. He says he lied. No, he hasn't. He's got it in. It is open. Da, da, da. And inside there is Oh, don't tell me it's a box in a box. Oh, no, it's not a box in a box. That's all right. That's cool. This is what you all came to see. I hope. Otherwise, we're, we're in for major disappointment if you was like, oh, I wonder what this Ultimate Loot Chest Edition is. I want this unboxing video. Is. I wonder what it could possibly be. Let's watch it and find out. It is this. There you are. That's a loot chest. If that's a loot chest in the actual Borderlands game, I would be very disappointed. It's quite small, and considering that some of these hold sniper rifles and... Rocket launchers. Something tells me it's not to scale. Um, I might actually need a light on. Hang on. After God knows how long of this video, I've probably realised you might want some light. Um, we are in the box. Here are loot chest made out of plastic. You actually see it probably a bit better now. There won't be so much crazy reflections off of the off of the laptop. There you are. That is the loot chest. It is um it's quite yeah, not bad plastic. Now then, how do we get in this thing? How do we get in the thing? You see that the, the, the actual original um Oh I see. Look, it lifts. Wow. Well, I get that you're probably meant to put the other bits in here. Ah, that's my finger. There's not actually a lot in there. There is. A bobblehead of Marcus from, from, the, from the first game. And that's it. There is nothing else. There is literally nothing else in there. It is empty. It is so empty. It can, although by the looks of things, it's got DVD-sized holes. Um, let's use this totally not a copy of um, Ghost Rider. It has holes, but I know not what they do because it doesn't actually hold a DVD. It's um, too big. So I don't actually know what they're for. But I would imagine, and I am, this is what I'm going to use it for, so I don't have to put everything back in the box because that would just be crazy. Um, I would imagine you can fit the rest of the... Yeah, yeah, you can fit a rocket launcher in here with a more powerful zoom than any sniper rifle ever in the world. It even echoes when you put your voice in it, and or your face in it, rather, and project your voice through echoing loot chests. Well, anyway, let's get Marcus out. Oh, there's there's actually a there's a catch there. There's a oh, I see. I've I've lifted that up and almost completely broke it. There's actually a there's a button that you press to release the catch and and therefore open it. Well, let's get Marcus out of his box. Whether he stays out of his box is is something else entirely. But let's get him out anyway. We'll have a look. He creates all the guns, don't you know? And I have oh my word, this is this is weighty. I like that. I like I like a good bubble head that's weighty. Um, I'm going to just sit on the chair a minute so I can get you a bit a bit closer to the guy, and we shall bring the... Hello, this is Marcus. Um, yeah, no, this is this is pretty cool, actually. I mean, as you can see, his head's bobbling away. He's got a nice... He looks, he looks kind of... 
crazy. But the the um, they've actually they've not done too bad with that actually. It's uh, it's quite solid. Um, the the art style is of, of Borderlands. You know that whole cel shaded thing they've got going on is is quite acu accurately replicated within him. He's a bit sticky on the back, which is I have no idea what it is, but it's I don't know. He looks nice. He would he would sit really nice next to my other um, head bouncer things. But I think for the sake of the fact that he has his own box that he sits in, he will probably go back in the box. And also he's very, very sticky. Get back in your box, Marcus. And it's, it's 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 the actual box is pretty cool. It's um it's shaped like a vending machine. Obviously, vending machines don't have holes in the middle, but you know if you play the original Borderlands, you'll you know the Marcus Munitions Incorporated logo on the front, and everybody's happy. Back in you go. Back into the sticky sticky box. Don't actually know. What it is? Don't care. It's actually on the box. A little bit of it's on the box as well. It's probably from the plastic of the loot chest. So um, there you go. I've made an absolute mess of my bed. Never mind. Uh, but this is the Borderlands 2 Ultimate Loot Chest Edition. Comes with a lot of cool stuff. A little bit disappointed it doesn't come all in the box though. If I'm being honest. You know, I don't, I don't really see why you'd have two boxes and then put all of the cool, put all of stuff in, in one box when you've got this that you could just put it all in and actually have it as a loot chest and you, you open it and it's all in there already and you're like, <gasps> in, in amazement at, at what's in it. And there you go. That's. Well, it's the this is the Xbox version, as I'm sure you probably gathered when I showed you the, the game. Um, it also came out on PS3. Uh, the Loot Chest Edition, I believe, you couldn't get on PC though. This is this is strictly a console-only version. It was exclusive to Game, and it is also, unless you're very lucky and find one in a shop, um, it was also completely sold out uh, via pre-orders and retailed at a rather princely sum of. Um, <laughs> Ninety-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Whisper that if you're saying it out loud. Um, but yeah, it's it's cool. You know, I mean, and you, the the loot chest itself is pretty nice. I was kind of hoping it would be like, if you've played Borderlands, you'll know what I mean. Um, the this bit opens and you have like two little panels that also slide out. It would have been, you know, so you had like a panel here that slid out, and there would be a panel here that also slid out. It is a um, it's a bit of a shame that. It doesn't do that. Just got a comment say it's not that bad a price considering what you get. There is actually a lot in it. Admittedly, there's a lot in it. There's uh, I've I've paid more for collector's editions. That, well, I say I've paid more. I, I haven't actually paid for this at all. Um, I have seen uh, collector's editions that you could pay more for that don't have as much in. Um, Skyrim, Elder Scrolls Skyrim is one uh, particular example because you paid 130 quid for it and you got a massive PVC dragon and a cloth map and an art book. You know, as I say, art books are requisite for everything. You could, I mean, if I could actually tilt my laptop, in fact, I might actually be able to if I tilt my laptop farther enough around. Can you see all my collector's editions up there? All of them! You, you can actually see all of them up there. Pretty much every single one of them has got a, an art book in. You know, you've got uh, Final Fantasy X2, uh, 13 2, that's got one. Um, I don't believe uh, Dragon Ball Z does. Driver does. Catherine hasn't got one. I don't know where I'm pointing. Uh, there's a PlayStation Vita box up there. There's Call of Duty, you know, pick your poison. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, Duke Nukem Forever. Anyway, we're, music we're, we're missing the point. Um, you you obviously all tuned in here to to watch 
a, a video about an unboxing of Borderlands 2 The Ultimate Loot Chest Edition, which it's here. All of it is here. And I'm really looking forward to playing it. I'm so excited. Uh, I've been looking forward to this game since it was announced, if I'm being honest. Borderlands 2 is brilliant. Anyway, it's time for me to go now, because there's not really a lot else I can show you about it. Um, keep an eye on Twitter. If you follow me on Twitter, my name is at UK. Keep an eye on it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make this all look pretty, and I'm going to... Uh, Take a photo, I'll put it on Twitter. So, you know, if you watch the video, you can actually see it all in one all in one place. Um <laughs> I'm still chuckling at that clap traffic. Uh, in terms of uh, live videos um, from me, I'd, I'd actually quite like to do them more often, if I'm being honest. I'd love to do them more often. Um, and actually, I have ordered a Hello Kitty X Sonic. Uh, plush, the 15 inch ones. Um, hopefully that should be coming very very soon. When that turns up uh, we'll probably do all this again. We'll we'll take it out of its quite clearly not official box because I'm, I'm guessing someone just took the plush and put it in a box and shipped it off to the UK. Uh, so we'll do that. And also the first for figures Knuckles figure is coming out soon so we'll uh, we'll get that out and we'll probably do that one at night because we'll be able to turn the lights off and show you it flashing and looking gorgeous with his derp face that he's clearly got. Um, <laughs> I've just got four viewers just as I'm about to leave. Sorry. This will obviously go on YouTube um, as, soon as, I press, as soon as I press finish. So if you do happen to miss bits and you've caught in towards the end, then click, click on YouTube. Watch it. Watch it back. It's all fun. Um, And thank you. Thank you for watching, you sexy, sexy people. Share the link. Show your friends. And uh, and get ready for the next one. Next week we should probably do uh, Hello Kitty X Sonic. Strange name. Uh, and then the first one figure is Knuckles figure. And actually, depending on how popular these get, I might actually do unboxings for everything that I get. Um, that's special edition, of course. So that would make the next one Resident Evil 6. And that one is £130. Thank you for watching, people. Um, this has been the Borderlands 2 Ultimate Loot Chest from Game. And I'm going to go play it now. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.